Now we can also inspect graphically or visually a graph if it's a function or not. And the tool that we use that is called a vertical line test. What a vertical line test means is that as I pass a vertical line across a, fun or a function horizontally, does it intercept a graph in more than one space? Because remember, every x can only have one y value in order for it to become a function. But if there's a value of x that produces more than one value, then, there, then that graph is no longer a function. And yes, there are graphs out there that are not function. Every graph is not a function. So to kind of show you what a vertical line test does, I grab my, my son's Louisville Slugger here and just imagine what's going to happen. As I bring this vertical line horizontally across the graph, it's a function as long as it only intercepts the vertical line in one space. What you notice as I start to get closer to here on this particular graph, and maybe I'll just stop it right there for a second along the point or uh, x equals zero. Notice that the graph intercepts my vertical line more than once. So because of that, this graph fails being a function. So you can look at that on lots of graphs. Uh, a graph of a circle. That's a graph. We can identify that with an equation, but likewise, this graph of a circle fails the vertical line test. So therefore, a circle is not a function. So I hope that's helpful for us to be able to identify when we see a graph, is it a function? One way you can test is by using a vertical line test.